Okay, there it is. Okay, so I was standing outside our uh, assembly and cutting area. You can see here's the uh, those six meter pieces of uh, of extrusion. The uh, there's about a quarter of a mile of it sitting right there right now. It doesn't look like a lot, but you can make a lot of pieces out of it. Then over here, we're going to kind of sweep by. That's a uh, this is in a portion of the origins of ENM are a, a motor shop. You're looking at the winding room for that motor shop right there. But on this side of these pillars, we have our equipment for uh, cutting and tapping. And here comes Morgan. Hey, everybody. Hello. I'm the production manager over here at ENM. I'm going to show you guys our uh, cutting and tapping stations. See He's going to. Uh, He's going to uh, do the actual work. I'm just going to follow him around here today. This is our fancy saw. It has uh, this nice little end stop here. Uh, come on. There we go. So that it's, uh, do that. I'm going to mute myself so you're not quite so loud. Hang on just a second, Morgan. Shazam, it's cut. So he's going to pick that piece up. All of this was built out of robot units as well, the little uh, roller conveyor and everything. And then we're going to come over here to the tapping table where he's got another piece sitting there just so we can do two. Show you how that works. Again, this is all built out of robot units with things as well. And we tap both ends for you. So you don't have to worry about putting those threads in yourself. This little machine has a little oiler that goes up there and oils the spot first and then taps it. And we tap them pretty deep. So you get that nice long screw that give you good holding power on that, uh, on that end connector and clamps it down again, a little squirt. And away we go. Easy time. And then you saw that label that we put on there that, uh, that allows us to uh, identify this unit. So he's got a label, peels it off. Oh, sorry, I can't quite get that to point down. There we go. Stick it on there. This is one of the parts of our starter kit. So you can see those two things there. And, it's some, and so it tells you like, this is piece one of eight, this is two of eight, it's position two, this is position three. And we can put those on there to your specification. So that's it. Any uh, questions on that so far? Um, Steve, I'm checking. Um, I don't have any questions right now on the tour, but if you do have any questions, um, please feel free to type them into the chat box um, about our shop in Healdsburg. All right. Well, I'm going to turn my camera off while I walk over to the uh, bonus round. Okay. Um, I'm going to turn it over to Henry. Um, I'm going to spotlight him um, within our video. Um, Henry, I'll turn it over to you. Okay. Hey, everybody. <clears throat> Great to uh, have a chance to talk to you. Welcome from uh, cold and chilly Wisconsin. Um, I really envy you people out in California that have got nice, sunny, hot weather. Um, while I'm doing the fill-in for Steve, a um, little bit more about robot units. We started um, our business in 1987. We were a machine integrator and we used traditional extruded aluminum systems. 
what we found that there was a lot of extra work that you needed to do. You know, you had to cut, you had to drill, you had to do a lot of extra stuff. So we adopted lean manufacturing. What does that mean to us? Well, we went into this to eliminate waste. What does waste mean? Anything that you have to do to the product once you get it. So if you have to drill it, you have to tap it, you have to do all of that, that's all waste as far as we're concerned. And we want to try and get rid of that. We've been in um, USA since 2002. So we're a wholly owned um, subsidiary of a, an Austrian company and we're headquartered in Cranberry, New Jersey. We, uh, Morgan told you, uh, the guy showed you the, the, the operation that we've got, which is how we go to market. We have channel partners. They're not distributors, they are partners. They're an extension of robot units. And what we look for in a partnership is the value added, someone who can do the cutting, someone who can do the technical drawings, someone who can do the bills of materials, someone who can do the assemblies for you, give you local support um, and help you with your designs. And this is where we're so excited and super excited to have E&M on board. They fit our mold perfectly. You've seen the equipment, that's a significant investment that E&M have made for their customers. You know, for the people that are sitting watching this, you are the customer. This is the investment they made to be able to give you a local support, a local supply um, of good quality product that will work. Now, I see Steve has finally made it to the shipping area. So I've rambled on long enough. But as I said, we're super, super excited on this new West Coast partnership. Um, I'm going to pass you back to Steve. And Steve is actually going to show you the new state of the art shipping. And look out because he's used or the company e and have used some of our products in a way you may never thought of, of using robot units. So there's a lot more to us than just doing framing systems, conveyor systems and that kind of stuff. So with that, Steve, I'm going to hand back over to you or through Deirdre. Um, she, she does this much better than we do. Steve and I are dinosaurs. We can just about stand in front of a camera and present. She does all the technical stuff. And by the way, what a fantastic job that they're doing. So don't forget to thank all the, the people involved in this because they've really spent a lot of time. So with that, I'll pass you back over. And as I said, have a great time. Enjoy the warehousing and the shipping. And Steve will go through all of that with you. Super. So uh, when I when we were so we've we've become a partner of robot units during the pandemic. So we didn't actually get to physically go visit their facility in New Jersey, but I got a tour kind of like what we're going to do for you right now. Uh, and when I was doing that, they had all of this equipment in their facility that they built out of their own product. That makes perfect sense. So I said, let's do that for our own team. So what we did is we're in the middle of actually building this new shipping center. You can see some of the equipment already here. This side of the building is where uh, the roll-up doors are. So the door closest to us, that's incoming. These tables in front of us are the receiving tables. So as they unpack boxes, the shipping and receiving folk, they got computer monitor. We don't have everything, uh, all the covers taken off yet, but. They got computer monitors and keyboards and such. There's a printer down under here. There's a piece of the plexiglass here. Uh, and we built these tables here in house. So it's part of our own assembly work. There's three of those. On the, uh, once we've received the product, it comes over here. These are the put away stations on these carousels. So we got a uh, red, the blue and the gold carousel is actually still in the existing warehouse. It's being used right now. So, uh, but then there's the put away station so you can scan the product. The carousel turns, you put it in the bin. You see the flashing lights are doing some testing today. And uh, those flashing lights just tell you what one of them was going to come on and it'll turn the color of the bin. So you can put the product in the bin and uh, we know exactly where it is, hopefully. And all of this stuff is made from robot units. You can see the different profiles. This is a 100 by 100. That's a 40 by 40. On the other end, there's some stations that look very much like the ones we were just looking at, except this is the uh, pulling stations. So there's a little bit of different stuff. There's the guy doing the testing. And uh, these have printers for picking, for pulling, printing the pick tickets. And then we have boxing stations and these are a little different too. 
they have these slots down here where we were going to store the boxes. So as a person working here, again, you got all your computer equipment. I can pull the box out, assemble it, put it away, pack it. It comes off the end of this thing. There's some printers that go down here, the label printers for the for the uh, various carriers. And uh, eventually, right here, there'll be a little conveyor, a little skate wheel like a roller so that it'll have an accumulation place for uh, the outbound boxes, which go out the outbound door. So all kinds of things. We, we've, we've done some things that are interesting. We uh, weren't happy with the placement of this because it made the monitors too far away. So we just added a couple of pieces and extended that out. Got all the electrical junk. You'll notice there's also wheels because we weren't sure exactly where, come on, point the wheels, there we go, where these things are gonna go. So we can actually move them around and they have a little, sorry, umbilical cord. So they can move about 10, 15 feet if we have to. So if you're packing something big or doing something unusual. So that's our new shipping facility, not quite up and running yet, but it will be at the, about the end of March. Anybody got questions or comments? I think this is, uh, if I can just um, quickly jump in here for a second while Steve is showing that. I think this shows the versatility of the product. Um, it also opens up a whole new field for everybody who is working in manufacturing. The crisis that we've all been through, and thankfully we're getting to the end of it as we hope, but what it's brought to us in terms of manufacturing is the need for automation. These allow us to make ergonomic workstations for our operators to work in an ergonomic environment. You could even think about this, you could put a cobot on this and use it for picking and placing and small, for small palletizing, that kind of stuff. So it really shows the product in a different way to our traditional uses and it shows the versatility of it. And this is fantastic, Steve. Thanks for, for you and your team for putting that together and showing us. Hey, it's our pleasure. You know, it's a, it's amazing. We've done all kinds of fun things in here to to make this more flexible and better for our usage. So there you have it. So go to the E and M uh, online website. Uh, go to our uh, web shop. You can put in the starter kit part number that we have for you. That was I'm assuming provided in your email, um, and we give you a discount code, and we can give you one of those for free.